in January 2022, that's earlier this year, we made a wish list for iPad OS 16's Apple Notes updates and we sent it to Apple. In this video, we'll be going through all the updates in the application to see just how much we got from our wish list. Hey guys, it's Rob C back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Like with Apple Reminders, you can now customize your toolbar in Apple Notes, even if it's just four icons. Now that we have our tables and formatting icons at the top of the app, we hope the keyboard toolbar will soon accommodate new features, once you've exhausted this toolbar, of course. This is something we could already do in Mac OS, so it's not that exciting. Though Apple Notes and Markup use the same toolbar, they've had some annoying inconsistencies. In iPadOS 16, Apple tried to minimize them by bringing the text and shapes tools to Apple Notes. We can now add text boxes to our notes in Apple Notes. You can then do the following. Change the font and its size. And the application also supports custom fonts, which is awesome. You can determine your text alignment. You can format the text to make it bold, italic, underline, or strike out. This formats everything in the text box. It seems at the moment we're only limited to making individual words bold, italic, or underlined. You can also change your text color for the whole text box. And sadly, we still can't edit the default colors on the toolbar. Text boxes mean that we can now mix our handwriting with text. Apple Notes effectively now supports body text, which you can add directly to the notebook's canvas and text boxes. You can also add signatures to your notes. Apple Notes lets you label the signature. You can even add your own custom labels. You can then change its pen thickness and color. If you want, you can rotate and resize it, which you can also do with your text boxes. You can still draw your shapes directly, but the shapes tool comes with a few cool features. It's limited to the shape options available when you tap on it though. You can now change their border color, thickness, and add a fill color whose opacity you can adjust. The app also lets you adjust the opacity of the whole shape if you wanted to do that. For both your text boxes and shapes, you can resize, cut, copy, duplicate, share, or delete them. You can add straight arrows. We could draw this before, but the option to add arrows on both ends has become much easier. It was possible before, but a bit hard. You can then choose the line thickness and opacity. These are limited to straight lines though. We still have to draw our curved lines. This is probably a bug, the fact that this is not working because the app does have the option to create curves out of straight lines. We love the new shapes tool because at least we can edit our shapes after we've drawn them. This is something you can't do with hand-drawn shapes yet. Our PNG images no longer have the gray background that's plagued the app so far. Images will start looking better in the app, especially now that they can mix freely with text as well. We can't wait to see if these changes can make for a more serious note-taking app for minimalist note-takers. 
So let us know in the comment section down below if you're starting to consider Apple Notes as your main note taking app. We can also now rotate the images we mixed with handwriting. Let's hope we'll get an icon for that in the future. The Pixel Eraser now has five size options. Which do you prefer? The tilt gesture automatically changed the size of the eraser depending on how you hold your Apple Pencil. You can also straighten your handwriting in Apple Notes. Though you can use line paper and change it, you know, change your paper template a bit later. This might be useful in some situations. You can now find and replace text in your documents. Let's hope that Apple adds the search icon to the toolbar. That way it's more accessible. We should be able to search our notes in a single tab. There seems plenty of room for it on the top toolbar. This is probably a bug, but searching seems to work better for body text than it does for text boxes. For your search inquiry, you can choose to match the case or complete phrases. This narrows your search to give you more accurate results, which we appreciate. In iPadOS 16, Apple has combined the export and collaboration features. We wouldn't have a problem with that if they hadn't made collaboration the default sharing option. These two features have been separate and distinct for years. They serve different purposes and therefore should be different icons. Switching between these two each time you need to export some notes can be very annoying. Looking on the bright side, collaboration is now simpler. You can copy a link to paste in other applications. For those that want to link Apple Notes and Apple Reminders, you can do that now, which is awesome. The app shows it's possible to export links to other applications, but we've only been successful doing this with Mail. With the rest of the applications, reminders included, you're prompted to add a contact you wish to invite, so it's not really working the way it's supposed to work. Apple introduced smart folders to Apple Notes last year. They were literally just throwing the word smart all over the place. However, with this update, smart folders have enough filter options to qualify them as smart folders. We didn't have smart folders in Apple Notes until now. Apple Notes now organizes your notes according to the date you last modified them. It will help us find notes faster, especially those we're currently working on. In iPadOS 15, locking a notebook in Apple Notes meant you had to create a password for it. You could unlock it with Face or Touch ID. Now, in iPadOS 16, you can choose to create a password or use your iPad's passcode. We were hoping Apple would remove the limitations it has on notes you can lock in Apple Notes. We still can't lock notes with any attachment and now tags as well. Of the 15 features we requested for Apple Notes in iPadOS 16, we got four. And those are the ones we're mostly excited about. Which of these updates do you like the most? Do tell. We hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.